sighs, the island hushes, the spawning leaves rustle. Hey everyone, it's Average FPV here, and I've just finished my mini queue build. So before we go out to maiden it in a minute, I wanted to give a quick overview. So the plane itself was around $150 plus shipping from AliExpress. And it's a composite airplane, the first one I built. Uh, it's 800 millimeters, so maybe as a comparison, remote five inch. So it's a pretty small plane. So the inert here, we have a Matek flight controller, the Mini TE uh, and the GPS. And then here down there, we have uh, bags and cables and all that spaghetti. And in the front, we have uh, a Talon 40 amp ESC and a walk snail with a nano cam and a couple of 3D printed parts. So the nacelle here, uh, I added some ducts to give it a bit of airflow and the cam mount is just a miniaturized version of something I found on Thingiverse. So the motor, I took an old one from a Hewing F01 that I destroyed. So that's a uh, 2207 1960 kV and the prop is a 5x5 five five carbon speed uh, prop that I installed. The servos are 12 gram metal gear servos that I also took out of the F01. Um, many people use KST servos, they are a bit flatter uh, but I think those will be enough here and yeah. So there's a couple of uh, mods I had to do. One is to cut the holes here to let the air out since we have the airflow going through the uh, openings here. And the second thing was the hatch uh, didn't accommodate for the cam putting in front. So I had to uh, cut this little piece out. And then the last thing I had to do is uh, the hatch is locked by two carbon rods that uh, go in on either side. So the one in the front that was right in the middle, uh, so I had to cut it off. And then I used epoxy to do a fork kind of thing, which now goes uh, nicely in here. The COG should be around here where I put the sandpaper. It's I think 22 millimeters from the leading edge here. Uh, we'll see how it behaves. If not, I do have a little bit of extra weight, which I can just cram into the front of the canopy between the VTX and the ESC. And yeah, that should be fine, I think. So the batteries we'll be using are uh, on one side the 850 4S and on the other side the 650 6S. And both, if you cram it in a little, they'll just be fine a little bit of cable management and putting stuff in and then I think uh, that should do the job. So that's the overview. Let's see. Uh, it will be fun to see how fast we can go. Uh, I'm going to maiden it later with Rock FPV so that's the next segment you're going to see. Thanks a lot. See you soon. So now we're out here in the empty field to test the mini queue. We also have a second mini queue from Rock FPV and other planes. So let's see whether it's going to be a long or short maiden. Under your influence, you gave me confidence. You built. So we had a little bit of a crash, but it's repairable, I think. A little bit of epoxy, um, putting things back in place, replacing the prop, and yeah, a little bit of tape and glue will hopefully do it. So sorry, no real maiden for this video, but there will be a next one. So we're back at the bench. It's nothing too bad, really. The prop is obviously gone. This needs a little bit of hot glue. And then the main part is uh, this part of the fuselage broke. So I have to epoxy that. And then there's a little damage across the wing. And the back is also split. 
but control surfaces seem to be fine and everything. So I have hope that this will fly again. And really not sure what happened. For now, the theory I have with Rock FPV is that the flight controller, which is essentially on a big piece of foam, um, was maybe oscillating or moving as air comes in through the front and tries to go out here. So I'll probably remove this foam platform with something printed out of a Petchy or so to have the whole thing stable in here. I mean, it wasn't that loose. Um, it's now very loose because the hot glue is gone and everything, but yeah, uh, it's either that or the control surfaces were completely off, although it didn't look that way, or the motor was pulling a strange direction. In the footage you could see already that the auto launch it was sort of doing waves up and down. Uh, if you know what it is, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I will improve these points and I think in a week or two, we'll have a remade of the TJIRC Mini-Q. See you soon.